Hello everybody, this is Junk in the Trunk, hashtag 15, and I'm looking forward to this one actually, because um, as you know I haven't been very well and I'm feeling loads better and I'm rearing to go. <laughs> right, what I thought I would do today is, I haven't, I haven't covered, I was going to say, I haven't covered any covers, <laughs> so um, oh, that's really great English isn't it? So what I thought I'd do, we'd do some cardboard covers, covers, out of some, ooh, cardboard. <laughs> and so again, this is, you know, discarded items. Okay, book pages, not discarded as such, but they come for a nice backdrop. Okay, which, not on that one. I've already sort of cut this one down just to see how I liked the look of it. Okay, so you're gonna need a bit of cardboard. So a book page or dictionary page that is bigger than, you know, what this is. I'm going to cut this down a little bit because I, what I do, I measure, I sort of get a good idea on, say, a journal that I'm doing. I'll give you the measurements in a minute of this one. And, and I'm thinking, well, we've got to layer that, so that looks good. All right, so my measurements of my outside piece... which I don't like that ruler <laughs> for that, <laughs> to measure in, is five by seven and three quarters. Okay, this is around four and a half by, well, seven or seven and a one eighth there. Okay, so that's what I like to bring it down to, which I felt was right. So you're going to need going to need your book pages, a bit of cardboard, a um, napkin of your choice, you just use a bit of this, whatever design, I'm not sure what I want yet, totally different aren't they, I mean yeah, all to me, summer like, so I might do one all to me and one summer, I'm not sure, I'm not sure whether this will work yet, because I quite want to get some individual, and this will, because I quite fancy that in the top corner maybe or something like that so we shall see but that's the three I've picked out and we need gesso because I'm gonna gesso all this and I'm gonna gesso the book pages out well once it's cut down um, maybe a center element you know a focal point of something that you want which I haven't chosen mine yet I will do that when this is all drying I go and then choose something you know that we can do maybe just a butterfly it, you know with a frame or something like that something you know simple so perhaps the frame could come out of a piece of packaging hold on a minute okay I found these and I thought that would be nice and cut that down and we could have that I've got um, as you know for the focal point I think that might work there and create something with that okay but we'll do them later so I thought I'd use, utilize those. Right, let's do this. All right, so I've cut one side down already, and then I just sort of bend it really and do that. That's all. Let's go down that because you've weakened that bit, it's easy going down this way. So that's fine. I will check that way, and then that gives me what I need to take off here, really. I need to a bit more room so oh these are two book pages stuck together or well, these are this is um medical dictionary i think okay oh yeah sometimes i do mine upside down so when i use them this is the right way up <laughs> so i do it the other way so i don't because i don't like things that are upside down not really i do put up with it but right Okay, so I'd sort of do that and then take some off, however way you normally do that. Oops, sorry, that might have been a bit loud. And then
Is that done? All right, so gesso time. Oh, not gesso first. First of all, I'm going to create a little bit of something going on in the background of like this. I want to keep that for a bit of decoupage there. So I'm going to take some out of here. It's sort of random, random, but not. Uh, only because I want sort of like something going on. I'm thinking of something here and then, so this is why I'm sort of doing it like this really, a bit up there perhaps. A bit similar to that one. Get some texture going on. the old ice pick. <laughs> okay, a little bit off here. Yeah, I think that'll do. Liking that. And then just gesso them all. So. And do that one as well. Get that out of the way. I think I'll use a brush this time. Because I want I want the gesso on here a bit heavier. You can use white acrylic paint for this if you want, or emulsion. I want this, you know, quite sort of white, really. Finger marks off. Okay, so I do both like that. You don't have to do two, I'm just doing two because um, sometimes it's you know, in case one goes wrong for me, <laughs> then I've got another one, <laughs> so I might as well start off with two. <laughs> then I've got two covers as well. well it's not an actual cover, it's the place on a cover, you know. Sometimes you do sort of like a plainish background of the fabric or, or scrapbooking paper and you want something to go on the top of it. And so I just thought it'd be nice to have a go at making some cover elements out of packaging. And then I'm just literally not totally blacking, blacking this out, just I don't worry about the middle bit. I was thinking the other day, I haven't actually done anything with my book pages. Let's get left with loads. Should do a bit more of them, really. Okay, and then leave that to dry, and once that's dry, oops, we shall be back. Okay, all lovely and dry. Uh, the next thing I sort out is where I'm going to put my decoupage, because I'm going to do a bit of stamping. So I sort of want to do it where, um, you know, there's not too much decoupage going on, or anything like that. So I think I've chosen what I wanted. So I sort of have a look at what's going on I mean yeah I like it to end I like that so I think I chose this one with that and I just use my paintbrush you know water on it and went all the way around 
and then I chose another bit for down here, like a leaf, which I'll show you. Measure all here, all the bits. I thought that would look quite nice. So sort of going there. So I know I need to do a bit of stamping here, but then I don't still don't mind it if it's underneath. So oh, there's my leaf. And there's a bit of leaf down here. It's just got a bit of a straight edge there, so I'll put that there. Yeah, so I'm not really going to worry about the stamping. I'm just going to randomly do it as normal. And the other one I chose sort of this one, maybe up there. So I isolated a few of the flowers in that one. And I thought maybe that one sort of not too high up is going actually a bit lower. I'm just thinking that if I'm going to put my centre point here, you know, my element that I want, focal point, you're not going to see that. So I'm going to come drop right down and lose the rose. And that was that would be the other one for now. Yeah. So again, I just isolated some flowers out of here. You know, this is where it gets interesting because you can just you know, isolate a few flowers, you know, and go from there, really. Right, let's get that out of the way. Okay, I'm not putting those on yet. Just thought I'd show you what I do first before I stamp, but to be honest, I ain't worried about that. Okay, I've chosen that stamp there that comes with that set, the Tim Holtz one. That's lovely and dirty. <laughs> and I've got this sort of net one that's quite interesting. That I quite like sometimes just to give a little bit of something going on in the background. Okay, which I'm really, really softly going to do it. I just I want a little bit more. Just It just adds a bit of depth, you know, if you use it a bit more. Right, I'm going to use Archival. Okay, found it. <laughs> right. So, Archival Black, I think. And just ink up. And I'm going to different... Um, I'm not going to press too hard or anything like that. I just, I just want some something going on in the background. A little bit more, I think. Gonna do this one as well, but I've already put the tea on this one, so I wanted to see what the colour was like before I continued with it. So it's up to you which way you do it, but I haven't done the other one yet, so The other one. Okay, this time we ink up the edges and everything. That this, this are all blending at the moment. It looks a bit sort of like oh, you know, white then tea, but it gets better. <laughs> okay, I might just put a little bit more up there. Okay, I'm just going to heat set that a bit. Okay, and I've mixed up a very strong cup of tea, three tea bags in that, and I'm going to just sort of like add it around in the grooves here. Let it splash on, splash on rather. Okay, okay and I'm going to dry that, and then I'm going to reapply. Okay, that's all dry, and then I just 
get a bit more depth going on in there, in the holes. I mean, you could have left those, actually, and not painted them. That would have worked better, but I did. <laughs> so we shall do something else. <laughs> Live and learn. Some random splashes, and that's it. And then dry that off. Okay, so that's all dry. So decoupage now. Um, again, I use a formula of two to one, two parts glue, one part water. That's what I like. You use what you prefer. You know, there's nothing I do is set in stone. You know, we've all got our little things that we like to use, so just use it. <laughs> tend to start from the middle and then go towards the outside as well. So. Okay, All right, I'm going to leave that and then go on with the other one. I mean, with this one, I might need something down here. Okay, but I'm going to leave it because I'm not sure what I'm doing across this way first. Which we can always add a little bit more. This is where I press a little bit harder now and let's get rid of that. There you go. So it's all nicely uneven. looking at that. Might actually put that there now. Quite liking that. There we go. Uh, wait for those to dry or dry them off. And on with the next bit. Okay, it's all lovely and dry and I am loving it. Need to ink up the edges. Um, I think I'm going to stitch mine onto there with black thread just to give it another bit of texture. Um, I've sorted through my bit box. This is, you know, some strands left over. That's some scraggy end bits. Okay, which I class as, you know, the sort of junk in the trunk, really. Can use that, because well, oh, we always need a focal point anyway. That's a freebie on the website. Um, I've got a bit of the tracing paper that I used alcohol, not alcohol inks. I've used the pens, actually, because I've got, you know, I've got loads of them. I think... Um, may have seen them although there will be you will see them because I'm doing that on my next video or I might have already done that I can't remember um, there's a bit of a ticket some of this that I always like using this was all cut off a tag okay when I use too much so again I'm going to try and incorporate that that's just a tiny bit of anything that's left <laughs> that could be nice um, I'll tell you what's really good for that 
I use a little bit of that sometimes, is the colouring books. If you tea stay in the colouring book pages, they turn out absolutely brilliant, actually. I'll go and get a piece, because you never know, I might use it. Do like that. And I tea stain them, and then I actually rip pieces up. So I will do a bit, you never know, it might work. Instead of that bit, but it adds a nice little bit of contrast sometimes. Okay, we'll see. I quite like that small bit though. I might have to go a bit smaller. Okay, we'll go from there. We'll see what happens. Right, but it does, it really does work for some reason. Right, that's that. Oh, this was a die I had. Okay, which I'll show you that. This one, but I got a car boot, so it's seven gypsies. Okay, and you get the stamps again with that, and these are quite nice. And I've used this one here, which is that. Okay, and I think that's perfect. I was going to use the packaging, but the reason I didn't, not going to use the packaging, is it's too big. It just, it, it, no, it fills a page, and I got so much nice things going on around it, I didn't want to lose it. We do need to back this, I haven't, and I haven't glued it, it's just stuck down. That's packed from the packaging. Yeah, I don't know, it's well stuck down, I think. But I have to, because it might separate it. Another that, gosh, that really is stuck down. So anyway, yeah, just cut out from the packaging. And gessoed it, okay, on the other side. That's perfect. And that, that's perfect size. I wouldn't want to go any bigger than that. So what size have I used? Just out of interest. Two and a quarter. Oh, buy all but two really. Okay. All right. I think that's big enough. And it needs to be I need to back it with something. Um not sure what. I don't know whether to use a bit of that paper there actually. Hold on. I know I have to be gessoed, but mm, not sure actually. And something more delicate, even actually vellum. Yep, nice bit of vellum that'll just sort of be quite delicate because it's looking quite delicate. So I think I've got to continue to use delicate things. Right, I'll just find a bit of vellum. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to actually stick that to the, the vellum for now. Okay, and that can go on, just leave it be. Well, I stitch around this. I'm going to put a bit of glue on just to keep it in place. I'm just going to check my journal cover. I'm not saying this is going on this journal at all, but I'm just using it as a reference. So it's not going to go with this one. So, But I think that's looking pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. Right, it's stitched all around. There's a little chunk of video missing, I'm afraid. But anyway, what I've done was I stitched around and you know I backed that on there and I glued that down and I started to, I layered up I mean you saw the bits that I was going to use alright so that was a, just a little ticket that piece of card that was a piece of vellum that I'd done with um, permanent markers yeah that I've also got in, in my other video that's j the last video before this one was on what I'd done it with different colours I think I use blues and that because I'm going to be using blue in my next journal but that's the one I've done with the orange orange and yellow and everything let it bleed out and everything and I think it creates some you know nice nice effects um yes and I stuck all this on all over sorry if you I shall carry on with it there we go and at least I've got another one to show you anyway so I know that most probably will be different 
Um, that's my butterfly, which I thought to put that there. Um, oh yes, I did show a picture on Instagram, and I had because I just I hadn't stuck it down or anything. I was just playing around, and I took a picture and put it up, and and it sort of was like that, really, with some bits coming out here, like this. And I actually, with the flower, I felt it was too spring-like. So I'm going to remove the flower. Still going to use that, but I'm going to use one of my leaves and a mushroom. Now these leaves are done last year, this time last year, which I'll link the video below on those. Because I've done a load of video um, with inks and everything and done a load of leaves that I die cut and then done them up. So this is going to go there with some other bits and pieces, but I am going to stick this with matte medium gel, the thick one, okay, and that will protect it as well because this, like this, is quite flimsy, all right. But I actually want to use that as well. But this butterfly, we can use um, hot glue, and I did use a bit of hot glue on this. Okay, not on here. That is three-in-one glue that I use on this. Okay, I'm just going to put that on first with that. I'm not sure which way I want it. I'm hanging down that way. Or that way. I think up. Okay, because we've got a lot going down. And then hot glue on the back. And give that a good squish down. You don't want it too lumpy. Let's hold it for a second. So I'm squishing it right down so I don't get a lump behind it. Okay, yep, that's it. Right, matte gel now. Okay, this is one I'm using. Okay, it's very thick and it's brilliant for things like this. Okay, and I'm only using it because it's a cover. I don't need that. All right, and you have to protect everything. This is all okay, but anything now, it's, it becomes three dimensional. All right, look, it's really thick. So you actually need it to adhere most of the things. I'm going to put that in the background. Sort of about there, I think. So. Got to be careful of the vellum because <laughs> that could wrinkle if you're not careful. So I'm just gonna put that there. Okay. Put that down there. Which I'm gonna put it on the back, I think. I'm also gonna put a bit on the front just to protect the front as well. This is on them, um, like watercolor paper, so it's quite thick. And then you know, also put some on the top, make it a little bit shiny, but not much because it's matte. But
there and I'm also going to put a tiny bit on this butterfly too okay, for protection. Once that's dry, I usually go around and just sort of trim any really long bits off of that. Okay. And I also check as well that everything's stuck down properly. Okay. But I think that's okay. Would have liked actually um, that. I'm not quite right sort of there I think no. this is where I mess it up I expect <laughs> just felt as though it wasn't quite right okay, damn. but I'm going to put a little bit more underneath Yep, I'm liking that. I think that's enough on there. And if I wanted to add words, I have a little space maybe at the top here. But to be honest, I'm quite liking it. Or I could put it in here. But until I know what I'm going to use this for, I'm going to keep it as is. I'll just put it in my little... I have a little folder with little things like this that I make that sometimes lend themselves to fronts of journals. But I think that's become more autumn now instead of spring. Okay. There we go. Right, on with the next one now. Okay, I've just cut a few more out of some cardboard. Okay, I only need one and I'll mount it onto a flat bit. Okay, but I'm just going to, while I'm here, I'm going to just say the other bits as well. So I actually want them on there. I want these quite white again I think it looked nice I usually take the one of the layers off of the cardboard okay so it's not too thick to go through but it seems to go through anyway it's pretty good actually cardboard does like being die cut Don't really need to do that bit because it's been stuck on, but I am <laughs> while I'm here. <laughs> That's the bit. There we go. Okay, and dry them off, and we can because um, I put lay one on top of the other to make it a little bit thicker. I hope one's enough. Right, as my little cows were um, drying after I put the gesso on. Okay, I've been looking at this and because it was sort of placed by me. And it definitely needed something in that middle. Too much of an empty space. I, you know, so I've got a word here that I actually printed out on the computer. I might even have, a, a, I think there is a freebie on the website with these words on. I'm sure there is. So anyway, that was in my word bag. So I am going to put that bit in there. And I know I'll feel better because I'm looking at it and I thought, oh, that's such an empty space. I know it's nice to have your negative space, but it just didn't look right. I just um, cut that out and inked it up. That's all I've done there. So, well, I printed that onto cream card. So, stick that in there. Okay, I mean, you could put one of those fancy things in, can you, you know, but don't need to because that's not what this is about. It's just trying to make something out of nothing, basically. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm happy with that now. Yeah, and maybe a 
when it's dry, a little coat of sealant just to help protect it because that was inkjet printed. So, okay, right, that can um, stop staring at me now, <laughs> crying out. I need more. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I know less was more, but no, <laughs> not on that occasion. Right, okay, so that's all dry. So I'll go ahead and cut that out and then we'll be back with the other one. Okay, I've gone ahead and stitched around like I did on the last one. Um, right, this is the few bits that I've chosen so far. A little tiny bit of sari silk. Okay, pretty good colour match. Another bit there. So I had that out from the journal I'm doing at the moment. So, and some more of this. Okay, just needs to be a bit raggy. A bit of that, which I love and I use a lot. <laughs> um, oh, a die cut. That could be Tim Holt. Sig, sig, is it Sig, Siglets? <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> You know which ones I mean, <laughs> the thinner dies. Um, it's one of those, I think, I'm not sure. I can't say, because they were in my little bit box. So, a uh, little ticket, anything like that. And then, this is the butterfly I'm going to use. Uh, freebie, I think. So, I am not even going to glue that on. I'm just gonna, just a bit of threads you know, that you get over from sewing, all the end bits. Just a little bit of glue there, and there, and there, too much come out, so. I might actually stick it down there as well. Because it's a cover, we've got to make sure everything's stuck down, really. It's not staying hot long, this one. Okay, and then down. Okay, I'm happy with that. Right. Okay, so I'm going to place that there. Right, let's have a look at this. See what we're doing. That's first. So what I'm going to do is use this glue because I've got a bit of time to move. Right. Start right. I stuck that down. Um, that's going to go sort of there, I reckon. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think that's about right. Maybe up a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, let's put that there. Okay, I'm just going to stick this down now. Too much glue, or else you could see it through the vellum, it could squeeze down there. Uh, let's have a look, see what this looks like. Actually quite like that, but I'm going to put that on with the gel medium. Okay.
It looks a bit messy when you first do this, but it all dries clear. Okay, and we'll see if we need anything after that. Oh, I was just going to put a bit on the butterfly. All right, just going to leave that dry. Well, I'll have a little look at it and see if I think I need anything else. Okay, it's all done. Um, right, what I've come that I didn't need any on that. I have I've had a look at look at it for you know a couple of minutes while I've been sort of doing something else, and it's been sat on the side of me, and I actually think it's great. Okay, because when you look flat here at it, it doesn't always look the same as when it's up. So that's why I like to sort of finish a project, put it up in front of me, just and just sort of casually look at it and think, oh yeah, this, you know, and this is when you can find things that aren't quite balanced or anything like that. It's very hard when you look at something, you know, the angle I'm I'm doing it at, because you know, you know, you really need for it to be up here. But anyway. That's all finished. Um, I felt I didn't need to elaborate much here because I have this nice rose here and I think it's all looking quite balanced. Whereas on this one, I didn't have that here so much. So I could sort of build that up a bit more here. And I, I'm actually just happy the way it's looking, both of them. And I've tried them both on the journal and they both look great maybe up to cut no I like it no, but I'm just saying this is not the journal they're going on but I don't think and yeah I like that but it's not really an iris this is the iris one <laughs> but I actually really like that <laughs> so that was that one and uh, it's great and this was the other one as well so again you know totally different look on a journal looks great and um, when I stick this I would do it very good glue okay I use three in one or even gel medium if you've got any gel mediums fantastic for sticking things like this on too you know but it's, it's quite expensive so you know if you haven't got it then please don't get it I know I needed it for a few of my tiny little elements here well see that's that's really hard now and that's great whereas these were only cut out on flimsy stuff so I was only using what I had so I had to sort of like make sure it was okay for a journal so I needed some stiff glue so yeah that's it so right what do I want you to do okay what I want you to do is I did have a little little yeah is make sure you in this week's challenge okay over on my Facebook group Art Amazing Friends um, and all the links below for all those and all the freebies on my website link as well and the freebies and everything it's all down below um, is you've got to use well this is the stipulation I mean it's is to make something for a cover like I've done okay but the only stipulation is to use a book page some cardboard or something similar okay it could be some kind of packaging that you have if you don't get cardboard because I know last time I used cardboard I was asked where to get it and we have cardboard boxes in the UK and they're you know everywhere so we have a lot of it so if you haven't got anything like that then try and do something from something similar okay and work from that right so that's it and the draw will be in two weeks so you have two weeks to complete you only have to complete one you don't have to do two I just I do two so I can do a little comparison as well and like I say, when I miss out a bit of block of video, it's handy because I can show you again. So, and it's all ready. I don't have to start from scratch. Okay, right. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.